Right. We have at the moment because I don't I don't have all of the change gears. I only have up to uh, 65 tooth. But I think actually on here it doesn't list a 65. So when I get all the others I need, I bid on a 127 geared tooth on eBay for the moment. We'll see how that goes. So we're slowly getting there, but I've got everything from, well, I've got two twenties now, and I've been drilling them out because they were they were five eighth. Yeah, I think they were five eighth. But I've drilled them out to the three quarter, um, three quarter uh, filed for the keyway in there. I've just hand filed them and that fits nice. So, uh, yeah, that one's not done yet. It used to have a pin to index two together when they're running compound gears, but this one's a little bit different. So, what I've done down here. on this stud if I had um, some bigger change gear wheels I wouldn't have to run um, three I could set up different. but what I've got on this one is so it's actually the stud itself is half inch then I've got a sleeve on it that brings it up to three quarter, and then there's a spacer that goes over the three quarter to give it a shoulder for the chain gear to run against. So that's on that one that rotates, and that um, the shaft that's or the, the sleeve inside, I've got to put a keyway on that. So when I'm running compound gears, I can actually get them to link together. And this is only just making up a representation of what was on the end of the lead screw. So, yes, that's M12. I wanted it to be different because it's not original. So I wanted to keep some distinction between the two. I could have done it half inch. But uh, I hadn't got any half inch nuts. So for the back end of it. I need some washers as well. Because they're not fully tightened down on there yet. Well they don't want to be tight but still a little bit loose in there. I've got to change that. So, so far, so good. I'm quite pleased with it. I don't know if you did see before what I was showing you before, but that's as the gears were with the 5 8 hole in. That's how I've done them. Cut the keyway slot in. Or I filed that by hand. So that's as was with a 5 8 hole and now with a 3 quarter. I've done some of the other ones, that's got the 3 quarter on it. That one's been done. I think that's, that's been bored out but I haven't filed the keyway slot yet. There's another one that's been drilled out but So, there we go. Things are coming along really well. Right, jaws on this chuck, which um, has been running out. I haven't got a, a die grinder or anything, so I thought I'd give it a go, just um, boring it, just to see how it would go. And that cutter, is 
touching the jaws. I don't think I've got anything to lose by doing this. So I thought I'd just give it a go. I'm just very, very, very gentle. But I can see it's actually touching on two of the jaws. So I'm going to go a little bit further. I've done a little bit of work on it. I've got a washer in the back of the jaws there. So that's holding it in the right position. I've seen a couple of guys on YouTube show the proper way of doing it, not the the clamp around here. Apparently that's wrong. You're supposed to put the washer in the back, which I've done. So that should be croquet. So we'll give it another go. And just a little bit of a fine feed on there. going to go very slowly into this. the water at the back now. about to fail on this but I think that is touching all of them but I don't want to go a little bit more well, the battery is about to run out of this so I'm going to do some more and I'll get a new battery well, I'm going to take the washer out
it seems to have cut on all four jaws. I can't feel any kind of lip or anything on the back of them. Right, let's. Right, hi. I just want to show you the progress I've made on getting this three jaw accurate. Um, what I ended up doing in the end, I, I did just grind the jaws. What I used, this was quite some time ago, I'm using a different setup here for, well, this is set up for something else. But it was a similar setup where I went in with a boring bar and just very, very lightly shaved the jaws. So I think I've got, well, I'm happy I've got them true. But what I did to cure most of it was this chuck body was quite tight on the register of the um, back plate here. So I reduced the register just by a small amount, mount the chuck jaw on with the screws not fully tight and then just bump the uh, chuck till I've got it square with that bar in and let's get that one there. now this is a millimeter or a metric gauge so I'm, I'm hoping let me come around this side I think you can see that on there it's coming a little bit closer yeah. looks good on the monitor of the camera so you should be able to see it there shouldn't be any glare on there so I'm guessing I'm getting hmm, somewhere around a hundredth, hundredth and a half run out. Which on a three gauge jaw chuck, I think that's pretty damn good. I'm more than happy with that. I mean, if that was thou, if that was running out by a thou, thou and a half, I'd be really happy. But that is much less than that. So I'm really pleased that I've got that.